Hi, I'm V and I'm so excited today because I've got some of uh, the new Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder makeup. I pretty much bought the entire range last time it was out and uh, I'm trying to control myself to not buy any more makeup because I've, I'm given so much of it. But anyway, let's start. Let's try to create a look with all the products that I've got. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this. I put moisturizer on my face and then I'm using this like check out this packaging. Isn't that insane? So I'm going to put this morning aura. It's like sort of a glowing a sort of a glowing primer glow a glow cream on the places where I want to look most radiant. So it's going to be top of my cheekbones, center of my nose, on my forehead. And let's not forget our neck and decolletage. So now that I'm nice and glowy, I'm going to put on, I'm going to quickly do like a little bit of base. I don't want to take away from like the radiance of this primer. So I'm not going to put have like a full face of foundation. I'm not a big fan of full face of foundation anyway. So I've just taken this uh, Bobbi Brown under eye concealer, which I'm just like using to conceal whatever circles I have. I've been shooting videos all day today. So this is the last video I'm shooting. Um, I've got the eye foil, which has the tendency, which is like basically lots of shimmer and shimmer has the particles have a tendency to stick to your face. So this had to be the last video I'm shooting because after this, I don't want the shimmer to show in any of my videos, right? So I'm applying a little bit of this on the sides of my nose also because that's where we get like a little bit red that's where I get a little bit red and like sometimes people get discoloration but the sides of the nose the sides of the eyes the center of the forehead these are the points that you need to conceal and if you conceal corner of the mouth if you conceal these points properly you don't actually need foundation I'm going to use the same under eye concealer on this little spot this that is just like fading away now. That's how you conceal a spot. You need to tap, tap, tap on it instead of trying to blend like this. Okay, a little bit here. The reason I'm only concealing is because, you know, I've got this amazing glow with this uh, with this primer. Why the hell would I want to like put on like foundation and take away from the glow of this primer? I'm going to just use a little bit of powder on the tip of my nose and the center of my forehead, my chin, places that tend to look a little bit oily and that too with a brush. Don't use a compact because you'll just take away from this amazing glow. And then let's get started on the eyes. Now that foil eyeshadow that foil that eye foil I was telling you it's this I've got the gold color there's a beautiful gun metal also which I saw on somebody else's profile which I want to order today trying my best not to order actually ideally I shouldn't be ordering any makeup because like you know how much makeup will I own right so just you see how pigmented this is I'm taking a huge risk by putting it on first but the thing is that I want my eyes to be perfect and I'm just going to apply it all over till my brow bone this is going to be a really spectacular i hope a really spectacular look guys so i've applied it all over the lid i'm going to apply a little bit extra close to the lashes and like the main part of my lid and then sheer it out as i go up i'm also going to take a little dab of it and i'm going to put it like this it's a very club disco look. Don't apply this shimmer anywhere else because you'll end up looking like a little sweaty. So just this little like semicircle is where you should apply it. Okay, let's do the same on the other eye also. Once it is a liquid uh, shimmer, it's a liquid uh, foil eyeshadow. But the thing is that once it sets, it sets. Then it's not going to budge. Unless you're going to take the same finger and uh, use it on other places. Okay. So we just, whoops. As soon as I said it, something had to happen, no? So I put it here. 
and I am spreading it all over, shearing it out as I go upwards. Alright, so more concentrated on the lid and then shear it out as you go upwards. A little bit on this side but no more, just to get that little disco shine but nowhere else please because you don't want to look sweaty. You know that little bit of an interesting highlight? That's what we are aiming for. Now I'm going to take a wet tissue and wipe my fingers really clean. Hope and pray that I've got all the shimmer off my fingers so that it doesn't transfer um, on anywhere on the rest of my face when I apply the other products. Okay, so this eyeshadow is done. Then I'm going to take the eye ink which I've already done another look with and it's just like it literally is my favorite product from the entire range. I thought the eye foil was going to be it but after using the eye ink I think it's the eye ink that is my favorite. So I'm going to take a big brush and I'm going to first softly look down so you can get that little contour of your eye. I'm going to first softly contour it with this uh, with this eyeshadow. Eye ink is a very confusing name. When I was Instagramming about these, uh, when I was Instagramming these products, a lot of people asked me like, how do you use the eye ink? I reckon you can use them dry. You can use it dry. You can use it wet. You know, it's an eye ink, so it should work both ways look down and then find your crease okay first do it with a big brush and then we will do it with this smaller brush to be more precise now here's when you can perhaps I've wet my brush taken off the excess water and now I'm loading it with product. I am going to sort of create a sort of a wing shape in the corner. And then enhance this line even more. But with a smaller brush of course. Okay, like I said, really nice look for clubs. Take the excess water off, rub it in and then just kind of a wing shape. The whole, uh, the USP of the look is this kind of contour that you're giving to your lid. Can't believe I'm touching that glitter again. Especially because I'm going to do my bronzer after this. So, get this inward close to the lashes. And then take the thinnest eye, the eyeliner and eyeliner brush that you may have and then take the eye ink to enhance the shape of your eyes. This is kind of like a 60s look. Trust me, the eyes are the only things that we're the only part that we're going to be enhancing so much so don't think that the rest of your makeup will be like outrageous so make your eyes look quite big like this then use a mascara I'm going to use a Chanel mascara just to prove to you guys that this is not a sponsored video I'm just so excited. I just get so excited by, you know, iconic makeup collections. I just feel the need to show everyone what the products are like. 
just like I did with Fenty. And on the other lash also, oops. You can put layers and layers of mascara because it'll look good with this. But I'm not gonna do that because all of us will be just sitting here forever watching me apply mascara. But whenever I do this look on my own, I'm gonna wear lots more mascara than I've shown in this video. And then to show you even more that it is not a sponsored video, I am going to apply a Benefit brow pencil. Just not too much, just to kind of create a nice frame for this makeup. Lastly, there's this beautiful cheek cream. It is so gorgeous. I'm going to apply it on my lips and on my cheeks. Apply it a little bit above your cheekbone to make your face look a little lifted. So just slightly above is good to get that like nice chiseled look. All right. So this look is all about glow. It's all about shine. It's very youthful and it's totally great now that we are getting into the party season. So blend upwards and then downwards from the front. I think this is also going to become my staple product because I love these kind of, you know, bronzy brushes, blushes, a little bit on the nose just to make it look like I've got a tan and uh, have I forgotten anything no right I put on all the products uh, yes so this is my Fenty Beauty look kind of mod kind of 60s but absolutely perfect for the party season